Um, PowerStar, you basically specialize in power optimization equipment, and of course, that's optimizing voltage usage. In South Africa, we know that we've got a massive power shortage looming. We're busy embarking on building more coal-fired power plants. Do you think that South Africa needs to focus more on using electricity efficiently, or do you think we need to produce a lot more electricity? I think it's both. Um, electricity has to be generated efficiently, and I'm sure ESCOM is doing their best in generating electricity efficiency. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's the generation of the electricity which is out of the control of the consumers. Uh, the consumers need to use it more effectively and more efficiently. And that's mm. where PowerStar comes into place. Mm. Uh, PowerStar will optimize the voltage that goes into a building and will provide significant savings. On average, 12-15% of the total electricity mm. consumption of a building. So basically we're wasting 12-15%. to 15%, uh, That's correct. On, uh, Th that's, that's the average. Is that uh, the average? Yes. Um, you're looking at the equipment that you could be putting in place, I mean, obviously you work with massive corporates. We know that you are currently yes. uh, you know, doing a voltage um, audits at this point in time with the likes of Pick and Pay, Virgin Active, Southern Sun, Sun International. So you do um, go to a wide range of, uh, of customers at this point in time. Uh, but just looking at the demand scenario that could play out in South Africa, are you seeing a lot of interest? There is a lot of interest on voltage optimization and specifically power stuff. Uh, and you mentioned a, a, a pool of clients. Mm -hmm. uh, um, just to let you know, I mean, um, we've got the largest power star system at the London Stock Exchange. Uh, uh, so it's power, London Stock Exchange is powered by our system. Uh, Hewlett Packard, uh, Fujitsu data centers, mm -hmm. uh, Metro Metropolitan Police stations, so government buildings, Whitehall cabinet office buildings, and so on. Uh, supermarkets, we've got nearly 250 systems with Asta, Walmart uh, supermarkets mm -hmm. in the UK. So in theory, anybody that uses electricity could be a client of ours, so the demand uh, in South Africa, we expect it to be great, and the demand up to now has been above our expectations, mm. which is a great aspect to have for a new product into a new market. Mm. Well, do you think that generally, um, you know, looking at it from a global level, do you think we waste electricity quite a bit, uh, you know, through through um, having too many voltages, uh, voltage um, coming through into the market, as opposed to ensuring yeah. that you are optimizing how much uh, voltage yes, comes uh, through? Yes, the, the electricity authorities throughout the world and yeah. the voltage grid network has been designed to transfer the voltage at the highest possible levels because mm -hmm. electricity authorities have to ensure that you here or anywhere in South Africa can obtain adequate voltage in order to operate your equipment. In order to do that, they have to transmit at the highest level possible, which uh, you have regulations, uh, the maximum 253 volts and the minimum 207 volts. So they have to transfer it at 253, and depending on the demand of the line, the voltage will drop mm -hmm. um, to uh, the furthest point away from the supply. Mm -hmm. So the average voltage that you get is about 240 volts, which is no equipment in South Africa or uh, in the Euro in the Eurozone has been designed to operate those voltages. So you waste a lot of energy. Um, not because you want to waste of energy, because of the grid design. Uh, there is the Institute of Electrical Engineers have said that uh, on average we waste 10% of the electricity consumption because of the over voltage we supply to buildings. And that is uh, a great aspect. The other thing, the other negative aspect of having high voltage is that you shorten significant life expectancy of your equipment. So if you have uh, equipment, you have a laptop here which has been designed to operate at 220 volts and you give it 240 volts, you will shorten the life expectancy by up to 55%. So it will last half the time yeah. in terms of the over voltage capacity. So power star will save you energy, will save you money, which is more important aspect. Uh, it will save you carbon dioxide, which is everybody's mm -hmm. trying to do the, their bit for the environment. It will uh, increase the life expectancy of your equipment and will remove the electrical noise within the supply. And the electrical noise is something that uh, we face more and more problems within mm -hmm. the uh, the, the, the Tell us about your relationship with ESCOM at this point in time, because obviously you've, you've got something that could assist us with the, the, the looming prior crisis that could possibly play out, uh, play out in South Africa. We've had uh, electricity tariffs increase by 25% this year. They say that it's going to increase by a further 25% over the next two years. So yes. a big issue coming through for not only corporates, consumers as well. Yes. I mean, ESCOM, I'm sure they're doing their calculations and the price increases that they are uh, uh, asking the people to pay are within their... Um, speculations of mm. how the market moves. I have to say, you pay very little for your electricity in South We're Africa. We're always reminded of that. Yes, uh, <laughs> you pay 30% uh, of what we pay in the UK at this minute in time. So you, you're 
pretty, your electricity here is pretty cheap. So the, the relationship with ESCOM is that we are trying to make sure that ESCOM has more capacity by us having more equipment within the South Africa uh, mm. market. If we can save 10% using our equipment, it means that ESCOM has 10% more power to distribute wisely within the South African market. Why do you think that equipment such as this, technology such as this, hasn't really been around for that long? Um, we know that it has been around, in fact, actually for over 100 years, and that's what some of the reports that I've been reading say. But why do you think it's been so slow to be implemented by these um, big power utilities? It's purely because of the payback of equipment. Um, if you take 10 years ago, when we started uh, the job of uh, voltage optimization and power star, electricity in the UK was uh, between 1 and 1 1.5, 1.7 pin pence a kilowatt hour was the maximum and now is nine pence a kilowatt hour. The actual cost of equipment hasn't actually gone up that much but the payback has significantly been reduced. So you have paybacks now averaging between one and two and a half years. Uh, well, 10 years ago it would have been 10 to 25 mm -hmm. years. I don't think many people are willing to invest well, looking at the overall um, electricity generation scenario that is playing out on the continent, um, and particularly in South Africa, we are building more coal-fired power plants. Yeah. What are your thoughts on that? Do you think that are you do you favour more nuclear energy, perhaps? Or do you think we should be focusing more on green energy? We know that in Europe, everyone's got solar panels on their roofs. It's something that hasn't happened in South Africa as yet. Um, and again, is um, the generation of the electricity. Uh, for, for our system, we don't really mind how it's generated, the electricity. You can generate using uh, wind power or renewables. Uh, and that, of course, is a benefit. But unf unfortunately, it's an expensive technology and um, unreliable, especially wind. Uh, when the wind is not there, you still want to have your lights on in your house. And I don't think anybody wants to substitute the generation, which is uh, the, the reliable generation, like uh, uh, gas, uh, coal, or nuclear, uh, mm -hmm. with uh, purely renewables. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the fact that uh, coal power stations generate significant amount of CO2 um, is a negative aspect. But you have to find a solution, an uh, intermediate solution, until uh, new forms of technology uh, are there. Cap carbon capture technology will be uh, important and so on. So uh, in my opinion, as long as there is a strategy in place to make sure that you generate the electricity in the future uh, well with uh, less CO2 and there is a strategy in place to make sure that the equipment that you have that use the electricity run as efficiently as possible and PowerStar will do that, uh, then it is a win-win and win situation.